Hey YouTube, the Geeky Minecrafter here, and I want to bring you a quick tour video. Um, I've been doing quite a bit of work off camera. I, I really felt like, you know, watching me mine just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of blocks uh, looking for the resources I need for these various products is just, you know, not not super fun for you guys. And if, if I'm wrong, if you want to see that, let me know, and I'll, I'll record a video of just nothing but mining. Uh, but I, I wanted to bring you around on a tour of the base, the changes that I've made. As I've collected materials, um, one of the things I really wanted to do was change the, my front door. I wanted to rebuild it and put in a double set of iron doors that works like this one does. Remember this from an earlier video where if you step out, it automatically opens. Now I did, um, I did uh, smelt some glass and I stained some glass with the sheep, uh, the blue sheep that I have, and this is this is one of the results of that. So I have put that on. I have spent some time over there in the new mine, um, and I'll probably give you a tour of that. But I wanted you to see what I had done to the front of the house. I I extended it out. I think I'd mentioned to you before that I, every time I kept running up here, when I had googlies on my tail, you know, they'd catch me trying to get in the door because one door wide is just hard for me. It's just probably always going to be hard. So by putting a set of double doors with some redstone in there, pressure plates on the inside so it'll just open for me, and buttons on the outside so the googlies can't, you know, um, open the door, I'm able to get in a double door much better. And as you can see, I have extended my lobby. Um, I've added a little bit of furniture. I've spent some time and polished some of the uh, um, ores that I'm pulling up out of the mine. Um, I, I've spent some time in the nether. I've gathered up a bunch of quartz. Did I just hear a skeleton? Make sure it's not in my house. Uh, one of the one of the problems. Oh, he is in my house. One of the problems that I ran into with this renovation was I it it's darker, the light level is darker in some places, and I am getting random spawns. I, I've gone through and you know tried to uh, light everything up. This this room's not lit up real well, but there's light under the floor. Um, the googlies don't see the carpet; they only see the torch under the carpet, and as a result, they're they're not supposed to be able to spawn in here, but. I am getting some <laughs> getting some random spawns. I don't know where they're coming from. Now, if you'll remember from last episode, I had um, spent some time in my enchant room. I had uh, enchanted a number of to uh, tools. I'd spent a lot of time in the mine, and I have really, you know, I've taken the leather that I've uh, gotten from the farm. I mean, this is, we're talking days and days and days and days of going and getting leather. And I've created a library with some comfortable furniture in here. Um, just you know, wanted to be able to uh, tidy up and make the base nice. So this is the new lobby. This is the chandelier that I created. One thing I did do um, was I marked marked this spot, went up on top of the mountain and dug through. Uh, and oddly enough, it popped out right where I wanted to build my wheat farm. So that's not an option for me anymore. But I do have uh, this channel cut down from the the top to help bring some natural light in here I, I suspect the googlies are <laughs> spawning in here the other thing I've done is I <clears throat> I've begun mining a lot of resources so I've added a bunch of chests and I've spent a little time you know indicating what's in each chest um, some of them are still miscellaneous but uh, that's that's coming along let's see that's the front reno now let's Let's take a quick look down here in this mine. Uh, let's hurry. Okay, so got some chests up here that I bring up, and here's the new mine I was telling you about. I, I dropped down in, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 levels, something like that. I hit a cavern here, and I left it open. They can't get through. I don't have any, any two-block openings, um, so nobody can get through, but I decided to just block it off and keep going well I hit another cavern right here one underneath us so I turned the mine and went this way found a cavern above us so I had to start going down
Now this is my new mining operation. As you can see I have a few channels cut down that way and I have a few channels cut down that way. Um, I took some measurements. That's the south. Um, of course that's the north. And what wound up happening when I, when I came back this way um, I punched through into some lava which made me kind of go down a little bit. You know, I was trying to get underneath it. I uh, uh, tried over it. That didn't work so well. So I tried under it. And oddly enough, I cut through and found a channel that leads back to the other mine. Now I have lava above this level, so I'm not going to cut it. And from right here as well, this leads back to the other mine. So uh, I've got kind of a little labyrinth here happening. So I've marked in the old mine that this leads to the north-south cut mine, and uh, they're they're just all they're all working together. Let's do this. Okay, so let me explain a little bit about, and I think I did this briefly uh, in the last episode, but I, for me, navigating my mine is, it's important that I know where I am at any given time. So what I do is I do cut three across for my main shaft, my main cut through every place. In this case, the north and south cuts. And then every four blocks, I will cut a channel, a straight channel, all the way back. And I may go... Well, typically, unless I hit a cavern or something else, I will go a stack of torches back. And then I'll run back here, or, or perhaps a half a stack, and then cut a channel across, and then a half a stack back. It, it depends on, you know, what kind of natural resources I it, catch down there, and how many stacks of torches do I have on me. So this one goes back quite a ways, and then I'll count over four, one, two, three, four, and then I'll start another channel. Now, this is, this is an example of one I haven't cut yet. Now going in, when I'm on the main channel and I'm going away, so in this case when I'm going this direction, the torch is always on my right. Okay, so when I go this way, the torch is always on my right. That tells, that lets me know when I'm down here, I can just look at a torch and if I want to head back to the base, I just put them on my left and that's the correct direction. So it's on my right away from the base, it's on my left headed back to the base. And that's one of the ways I navigate my mind. Now on that end, when I, when I get all the way down there, and this is, I'm down where some of the shafts are I haven't cut. So down that way, when I get either a stack of torches or 300 blocks or whatever comes first, down that way, I will cut a two block channel running north and south again. And I'll cut it longer than my next swath. So, you know, I count over four, one, two, three, four. And I would I would go at least one more block so that I know when I come back out uh, where this that second channel is. Now, actually, I go eight blocks. So when I punch back through, I'm always going to know where the end channel is. So it's two blocks on the outer edge, three blocks in the middle, one in between. Uh, the slit is one wide and I go every four blocks. So I, I hope that... Oops, where did I just... I just fell down into the other mine. Good grief. Okay, that's um, that's not good. So I'll, I'll pop everything up right here. I'll, I'll go up one level and go that way. So that was... Uh, that's the new mine. The torches out here in the middle on the left. This tells me this is an exit when I'm on the main channel and I've brought down all the tools I need. I've been working down here as you can see there's a bunch of stuff I haven't carried up. I've been working down here quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and carry that up to the base. This is all good stuff. Oh and I, I left my axes down here. No wonder. Uh, I was trying to cut trees. Now again this this chest for me is always what I want to carry when I go back up. So things I offload when I come down or, or things that I mine as I come out to the main uh, channel I'll put it here. So that's a quick look at the mine and how I do things in in the mine world. And again, if if watching me mine is something you want to do, I mean, I'm I'm happy to record a video doing that. You just need to let me know in the comments below, uh, or you know, message me. I'll uh, you know I'll try to try to do what you need. Oh, see what I mean by the single doors? Oh my goodness. Make sure there's nobody around and head back up here. Okay, so that's the. I just love this new lobby. 
And I even did, I, I don't think I showed you this outer side here. I even added a little courtyard. I haven't got my lawn furniture in here yet. My little courtyard, and this is the back side of my library. Now I don't have I don't have redstone doors out here, which is one of the reasons I put a fence. Now if they spawn up there, they can still fall down into my courtyard. Um and I, you know, if it becomes a problem, I may go make some more iron doors and and uh, block these off so they can't get in. But that's um that's the library, my little chandelier. So that's the the tour of the base. That's what I've been up to. Um, I have also started my chicken farm. Uh, it's dark. You know what? Why don't we go upstairs? We're only ten minutes in. The tour can be fifteen minutes, right, guys? <laughs> So let me let me head over here and uh, go to sleep for a minute, and then uh, I'll take you out and show you what I've gotten done on the chicken farm. Now I finally have it working. I haven't gotten the chickens in, but I finally have the lava flowing daily. Um, you know, uh, kicking off every day when the sun comes up, it it kicks off and the lava flows. And if there was anything in that, um, let's make sure I have my eggs. If there was anything in that uh, cell, it would cook the chicken if it's if it's tall enough to be cooked if it's you know if it's not a baby chick then it'll cook the chicken the feathers will fall the chicken will fall and I'll have uh, cooked chickens in the chest that's the goal so let's let's head down here and see what uh, what I got done now you can see it poking up over there see it um, I recorded myself building it several times um, I have, I don't know, probably 300 gig worth of data that I recorded. Look at all these eggs. Let's grab some of these. Um, I have all these hours and hours of recorded, but the problem was I had so many problems that I, you know, it just, it kept failing. So I'd record for half an hour and then it would be a total fail. What's the matter? Why isn't she running? Oh, really? Normally I can jump that. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's kind of laggy. Okay, so this is my chicken coop. Oh, oh look, I have a chicken in there. <laughs> uh, this is my chicken coop. I've brought all the materials I needed up here. Let me let me give you a quick tour. I will provide a link to the video where I learned how to do this in uh, the description below. So basically, this is all the redstone. Let me let me show you what we have over here. And uh, I have some cobblestone. I'll come on. Why is it okay? All right. So what we have is the mother hen pen up up top. Um, I've got a trap door up there so I can uh, throw the eggs down in and get these started. And and basically I want ten or twenty chickens in this top block. They're going to lay eggs, and this little thing right here is a half slab sitting on top of a hopper on this level. And the hopper is tied to another hopper, which is tied to a dispenser that throws the eggs down into this bottom chamber. And a chicken uh, winds up in this bottom chamber. Now, I did I did try this out. I had thrown a couple chickens in here, laid an egg. I, I, the dropper worked. I had to test that. So I've got a chicken down here. This poor chicken's in here all by himself. Uh, but basically what will happen is after the eggs are thrown down into that bottom chamber, uh, the chickens are born into that bottom chamber and I've got a daylight sensor and some redstone back here that says when it becomes dawn this sensor fires which fires this redstone which um, pulses. Oh, I've got something wrong here. That's not supposed to be lit up red. Anyway, it works around to this clock. So this fires, turns on this, hits this block, goes through this relay, hits this block, fires this, reverses this torch, uh, which, you know, when it fires, it reverses it briefly, which fires this little pulser. So one sends the lava in through here, and then the pulse sucks it back up so it's only it only runs for a minute and then it turns back off I have a hopper that comes out and feeds into this chest and as you can see I've done some tests I, I do have it working 
So let's take these um, eggs up and see if we can't put some chickens in the chamber and get this party started. Okay, so I've got a bunch of eggs. Let's throw those in my hot bar. Throw a whole bunch. Oh, that zombie that I killed. <laughs> he dropped a golden uh, chest plate. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Oh, come on. Get in there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I get one, the first one, <laughs> and he escapes. Okay, that's two. Oh, I just killed that chicken. Good grief. Thank you. Get out of the way. Good grief. I had to. I only have one now. I'm trying to get, I don't know, 10 or 20. Uh, why did that chicken die? Oh, come on. I didn't hit you. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I should maybe, I guess, be happy that I have as many as I do. Okay, I'm going to stop it right here. I'm just going to throw the rest of these eggs, and we're, we're just going to be done. I'll put the cobblestone back up here. Do I have any cobblestone with me? I do. Okay, I'll put the cobblestone back up here. I'm going to go ahead and close them in so they're protected and nothing will happen. They can breathe through the glass. I'm not sure how that is, but they can. So the goal here now is, um, you know, when daylight happens, uh, the sensor fires, the lava jumps in, and the chickens are cooked, those that are tall enough. Uh, you know what? That includes this one. Let me finish a little bit of extra stuff out here so we can stand and watch. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. I am going to wrap it in this dark oak wood. Um, I really like this, this oak. Uh, I really think that's going to look pretty good uh, when it's all the way around. Now, my goal is to have f four sets of these pens. I want them all to open out into this area right here. And I'm going to put some extended storage down uh, below. I mean, again, that this is, this is a more than one episode kind of um, uh, project. So I'm going to pause it right here and wait for sunrise, and I'll be right back. Okay, I didn't think this all the way through. So <laughs> when I left off, I ran back to the base, and I got in the bed, and I went to sleep, and it made it daylight, and I came back out, and of course the thing had either fired or it hadn't, but I wasn't here to see it, so I didn't know. I did come up here. I made a couple of trips down to get some additional eggs. I have managed to get, I think, about... 12 or 13 uh, chickens in here, and at this point, I'm going to call it good enough. Uh, remember, I've got four more cells uh, that I want to create full of mother hens, and or three more to make a total of four, and, I, and I've gone through an awful lot of eggs just trying to get those 12, so, you know, we'll, we'll start here. I'll, I'm going to keep the chickens that I have in the other pen, uh, because right now they're making me a bunch of eggs. Let's see what we have in here. We have some raw chicken. Let's go pull all this out. There's my trap door uh, that I uh, lost. A, oh, I could grief. I have a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. Tell you what, let's put cooked chicken back in here. And the. Let's put some of the eggs in here. We'll try that again next time. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it. I, I believe that this um, redstone failed. And the reason I believe that is I still have a chicken down here, and I shouldn't. He's tall enough now that when, if it had fired when it became daylight, he should have died. Um, so I think I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on my redstone. Uh, and this is one of the reasons I'm, I'm not recording a how-to tutorial. I mean, that's Data did a good job. I'm just, I'm just missing something. I don't understand what I'm missing. Um, but, see, I don't think that's supposed to be lit up. I think in the video that I saw from him, 
that was just normal redstone until it fires, and then it fires, it's on briefly, and then it's done. So, I don't know what's going on. So, I'm going to leave it right here. I'm, uh, this is uh, a, a failed attempt at the, at the chicken farm, but I think I'm pretty close. We have all the chickens in the upstairs, so they should be creating some eggs and dropping chickens into the bottom. I will get the wiring worked out, and I'll bring you back out here and show you what I did and how I got it done. Okay, till next time, you guys stay frosty. This is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out. Happy mining!